Hey everyone, this is Chromes. It's been a while, and I'm busy with other stuff in life mostly. Uh, but yeah, I'm still messing around with things, still building stuff. I got a bunch of kind of long-term videos or projects that I just haven't uh, completed yet, but I got some interesting. I was just messing around with finally figure out uh, an interesting way to do, so I figured I'd share it with you today. So that's this collection of stuff right here. So it's previously really interesting the idea of being able to send a signal back from a, from a mob farm in the overworld to, to spawn to turn on or off a mob switch. But since uh, things changed and Redstone no longer activates things in the next chunk normally, that was no longer an option. I did see Nembon's video back, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago now, where he showed moving uh, minecarts through the, the nether in the overworld to send signals through, but I hadn't really seen a, a nice practical way of uh, making it work that could send a signal anywhere near as fast as I wanted it to. So I finally came up with this idea. <laughs> it's It seems pretty simple, straightforward. I'm sure people can improve on it. But yeah, it seems to, to work is what I've come up with. So given that one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld, you obviously want to transmit the signal itself directly through the nether. So that's what this setup here does. Uh, when the signal comes in from the overworld, it sends a signal, uses an instant repeater to uh, drop stuff through the next portal, and it cycles, uh, in this case, the sword back and forth between the overworld and the, and the nether. And as soon as it gets the input from the overworld, it'll transmit the signal on to the, to the next portal because that uh, because that next chunk over will be loaded. So when you get it in from the overworld, it'll send the signal on to the next chunk over because it will load the next chunk. But uh, for entity processing, so through the nether, you need to get the signal from the next chunk over, wait till it gets something in from the overworld, and then you can send the signal onto the next chunk. In the overworld, or because you're transmitting the signal through the nether, all you need is a station in the corresponding chunk that'll uh, again cycle the swords so you don't have so you don't lose any and that'll send the signal as, as quickly as possible but it it only has to send the signal to itself <clears throat> so i set this up to just test it out and show it working real quick so what happens here I just block this off So what happens here is because I don't know uh, how the like the randomness is going to affect the sword, so I make sure it can land it in either, make sure it can come out of either side, land in either one, and still activate everything just as quickly. So these two, so the the bottom hopper here starts out locked, so the signal gets, so the item gets bounced back and forth here, and either way it'll hit an output of three. The redstone dust here, which will activate this. Uh, an instant repeater to extend the signal and in the, the case of the overworld portals it'll just send the item back through into the nether and the nether it'll send the signal on to the, the next chunk over and uh, there's just a slight delay here I think it's like four ticks is needed for the instant repeater to not break so it's like two ticks for the torch two ticks for the repeater I believe and then it'll unlock the, the hopper down here to take the item out. So the, the signal will, will turn back off. And for the, the nether, it gets the signal from the previous chunk. And so it just has to recycle the sword, but but the, the signal itself gets sent on just to the next one over. So I was playing around with it here in creative. I tried to come up with the idea. And I'll show you, I just set it up real quick, basically just as a, as a testing environment, just to, to see if it would work well in, uh, actually in survival or not. And it looks like it does. Okay, so I have the, the spawn mob switch loaded, but I don't have the mob switch loaded for the nether. Alright, so here's the... The furthest out I have it going. Currently, I just have it set up to send the signal out. So over, so there's one, two, three, and this one's a fourth set out, and it just sends the signal out and then back. 
so I could see it there. And you can tell I got the render distance at the 12. So the, the furthest ones out are obviously unloaded. Oh. This is where I'll just activate the signal from. I'll actually uh, restart this just to, to make sure the chunks are unloaded. All right, so yeah, there you can see one of the additional like sets to send the signal out and back, uh, but the the further two out are not loaded from here. I think the the second one out isn't even loaded right now because I'm playing on a lower render distance. But hit the button, you'll see the motion there, and then the lights on the closer one. So it does take a little bit of time, but it's. Seems like it's maybe not too bad, and it is a way to reliably send a signal over decent distances. So you already saw what it looks like in the overworld. You just have the you just have to have these the corresponding ones here. Let me show have them set up so they're pretty much off in the corner in these two chunks here. To make sure they're far enough away, but still close enough together to actually match up with the, the stuff in the nether. So hop through. And I don't have the, the mob switch, my nether mob switch loaded there at the moment. I did have it while I was building. If you're if you're going to be building stuff like this, then in the, in the nether then we definitely need another mob switch running. But hopefully it won't destroy anything and I'll be able to show you. Oh, that doesn't sound good. All right, so these ones over here are the furthest in where you start the signal. And as I saw, as I showed you in the creative world, it just sends a signal onto the next one, drops the sword out, it cycles back and through with the, from the overworld, sends a signal, and that loads the surrounding chunks. So it sends a signal to the next one, cycles, loads the next chunks, sends a signal. And then in this case, I just have it set up to run the signal back. So I get an output to through unload it, what were, through what were unloaded chunks to, to make sure that I actually function properly. And ultimately, I mean, this is a lot of work building to set up every single chunk, given how far out I am. Uh, every single chunk in the nether, and then every eight chunks in the overworld. But I think it could ultimately be worth it. So I could run the, I'd run one signal out to this perimeter out here, this new one, and one out to my old uh, double witch hut perimeter where I have a bunch of other farms. So I can always have uh, the signal back out also to tell whether it's loaded. Ah. Do not. Do not mess with this. Uh, let me get back somewhere safe. But, but yes, I just threw this together real quick. It's proof of concept. And I forgot to, to show the, the chunks. So these two... Uh, and even if it comes out on this side, that's still within the the range needed to be able to load this portal, to load both sides of this portal here. And I just aligned it like this because the the math worked out easily. Uh, I don't know if I'd actually recommend setting it up like this. I don't know if it matters, but yeah. So when this one gets stuff in from the overworld, it'll load the the next. These are in this trunk over here, so these will load the next trunk over. On the on the way out and on the way back, uh, this one will get loaded by that port over there, and it'll load the next set over. So you'll be able you'll be able to send the signal and and actually drop the item out in this chunk over. The signal itself could move further, but I don't know how it would how it would deal with the, the items getting dropped out if you tried to push it one more chunk over. And I figured I'd just go with something I knew would work rather than. You know, trying it out in survival. So this is a quick explanation in the demo of, of one type of <laughs> of one method of sending signals through through unloaded chunks. Uh, ultimately, actually, this is uh, the second version of the video <laughs> I made. The first one had a had an incorrect conclusion that where I thought it might actually be practical to send a, a signal all the way back to spawn. Uh, but at least this video, unlike the the drown farm video, I'll be able to keep most of the footage. 
And the, the original version of the Drowned Farm video only kept like two and a half minutes uh, of that footage. And I had to redo the entire thing because the, the inclusion was wrong. I had to go back and, and test <laughs> and then and revise the entire thing. But this one, I basically kept uh, pretty much everything as it was except the conclusion. And uh, yeah, this looks like a, a decently effective way to send redstone so signals relatively quickly. But given how far out I am, it would take uh, about 15 minutes uh, with this to get a signal all the way back to spawn. Which uh, seems a bit much. Uh, yeah, so given that it would take 15 minutes to get there. So a 30 minute round trip. <laughs> Unless you want to half it by sending, by keeping everything loaded and then sending a, an instant line all the way back. This doesn't seem like a good solution to send something <laughs> uh, over long distances at any rate. So what I may end up with doing with this, since it's, it's not good for sending a, <laughs> a signal 10,000 blocks and back, is I may end up setting a, setting up local mob switches. So I may end up setting one setting up one between here and my double witch hut uh, perimeter, where I have a whole bunch of other mob farms, so that way I can send signals back and forth between here and there. And you know, if it's only you know, a couple minutes, then I guess that would at least be manageable. That way I don't have to fly all the way back to spawn or anything like that. So... And local mob switches are easy now that you can uh, just use zombie villagers. So I guess this will this will still have some uses, but it's not anywhere near fast enough to to make it practical to send signals over ten thousand blocks or the like. So it sounds like this we still don't have a replacement for that, so far as I'm aware, other than some of the like the what the wireless redstone concepts. So, so this is still cool. Uh, I've not seen. Anyone messed around with this yet? Yeah, probably just not looking at the right place. I'm sure people have come up with better ideas already. But I thought this was interesting, so I figured I'd go ahead and toss it out there. So I uploaded a, another version of this <laughs> maybe a week ago, but since I wasn't happy with it, I hadn't actually gone back and done the math to figure out whether it would work or not. Uh, I didn't actually make it public. Uh, someone commented <laughs> that, I, that I just looked up and saw that yeah, I got 20 subscribers now, so I figured I'll, yeah, might as well go ahead and uh, re-edit this, reshoot this this section, and then upload a, a copy I can actually <laughs> make public that that's uh, that I'm happy enough with to release. So there you go. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for subscribing. Yeah, you know, just uh, almost a million more subscribers to go to a million subscribers. Got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I got lots of like real life stuff I need to. I'm taking care of at the moment. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I was able to sink a lot of time into this, given the the lockdown and. But uh, moving on, got a lot of other stuff. I like to get back to this. I do have a bunch of other videos I'm in progress, but it's uh, it could take a while before I actually complete most of them because they're you know like like this here is is not a small project, and uh, a bunch of the other ones are not the take a they take a bit of time and effort, and I just got a lot of other stuff on my plate right now. So we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload uh, another one in the next month or two. But you know, it's life sometimes. So, hope you at least enjoy this one. Cheers.